Yeah, I checked before I came on the website. They arrive at Edgewater Beach in Cleveland, anxious to cool off, only to find a warning sign near the entrance that the swimming area is closed. Now we're mad, but it's okay, we're not going to get in. Other warning signs from the Northeast Ohio Regional Sewer District explain why. How Sunday's heavy rainfall overwhelmed the system, causing 280,000 gallons of storm water, sewage, and other debris to overflow right into Lake Erie. A disgusting. That's crazy though, because like, well, obviously there's a lot of people outside. Many swimmers and beachgoers Monday who either chose to ignore the signs or some say never saw them because they're laying on the ground. That's disgusting. We shouldn't. <laughs> they maybe should have put some like yellow tape or something. No one even told us that the beach was closed and we were out there swimming and what have you, walking through the beach. But the water is nice and clear, so we had no idea it was closed. And despite appearances, the water could still contain dangerous pathogens, including E. coli. Did you know that? No. What's your reaction hearing that? I'm mad. I don't know, I feel like this should be taken more seriously. A spokesperson for the sewer districts asking people to heed the warning signs, especially the elderly, young children, and those in ill health, while they continue testing the water. We'll start going out there twice a day and we will test the E. coli levels and we will keep the signs posted at the beach until we know that the water is safer. And anyone exposed to the water needs to take a bath right away just to be safe. Go home, shower off and everything, and come back tomorrow maybe. I'm glad I'm not. We were just looking for sea glass. <laughs> Thank God. In Cleveland, Suzanne Stratford, Fox 8 News.